Moving on to butterfly stretches, we are going to do a small, medium, and large butterfly stretch for 20 seconds each. First, pull your feet all the way in, then bring your nose towards the floor. Now hold for 20 seconds. Push your feet forward a few inches and use your elbows to press down on the knees. One more. This time, bring your forehead towards the ground just beneath the heels. Moving on to the next stretch. Bring one leg up into a passe position then lean forward with a flexed foot and point the toe when you come back up eight times and then hold. After that, press down on the bent knee and hold. Now let's do it together. Now reach forward and hold for 10 seconds. Continue holding on to the straight leg and use the other hand to press down on the bent knee. Now get ready for the other side. Now reach forward and hold for 10 seconds. Continue holding on to the straight leg and use the other hand to press down on the bent knee. Up next, we are doing butterfly middle split leg extensions with two middle split kicks. Repeat this exercise combination 10 times. Let's get started. Butterfly, middle, up, down, up, down, butterfly, one. Butterfly, middle, up, down, up, down, Butterfly, two. Eight more to go.
Now we are going to do 20 crisscross middle split kicks. Every time you kick out into a middle split, keep your feet in line with your hips and also keep the legs straight. Yeah, I know I did you wrong, but I learned my lesson. Now, what if we could move on? Remember the good days. I wish that we could go back. I know I'm not perfect, but at least give me a try. I'm sorry. This next exercise is harder than it looks because it takes a lot of control and strength, but it is a great way to warm up your back. Start by lifting one leg to the back, then cross over to the opposite side, come back up, and then switch feet. Repeat 10 times, alternating legs. When doing this exercise, your stomach is going to naturally lift off the ground a little bit, but the goal is to keep your chest on the floor the entire time. I highly recommend wearing a pair of socks for this next exercise so that your feet can easily slide across the floor. We are doing sliding lunges with an arch back. Tondu one leg to the back and keep the arms by your ears. Then slide into a lunge and arch back as far as you can. Then stand up without putting your hands back on the ground. Repeat this exercise eight times on each leg. When doing this stretch, Make sure that you are staying in one straight line as if you were sandwiched in between two walls. Pause the video if you need more time to complete 8 reps on your first leg. Then take a short break and get ready for the other side.
today's oversplit is going to be with the back leg up. When you put your leg on the chair, you want this part, just underneath the knee, to be on top of the mat. Place the back leg up, and then slide into a split. This can be done without yoga blocks, but it is easier to use blocks for those who have tighter splits. And for those with less flexibility, start off with a very low elevation and slowly work your way up. Start getting into your oversplit, and the timer will start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. For my advanced students, I want you to reach back and hold on to the legs of the chair for the final 30 seconds. Good job, come out of the split and get ready to start the other side. The timer will begin in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. For those who have more flexibility, I want you to reach back and hold for the final 30 seconds.
and relax. Moving on to back stretches. We are going to start off with 20 bridge rocks. And for those who are beginners, I want you to practice holding the bridge with straight arms and your head off the ground before trying the bridge rocks. Start doing your 20 bridge rocks or bridge holds. Coming up next, bridge sits. If you are advanced, you are going to do 10 bridge sits. And for those who are beginners, you are going to do 10 bridge rocks. Take a moment to relax the back by holding on to your knees and then curving the back. Moving on to in and out steps. Walk two steps in and then two steps away 10 times. The last few exercises are going to be standing up. First do 10 straight leg kicks and then hold as high as you can in a ponche position. Then do 10 small pulses. Now let's do it together. Ready and one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now lift and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now do ten small pulses. Get ready for the other side. Ready and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now lift and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Now do 10 small pulses. Up next, you are going to do 10 bent leg kicks and then catch the foot in a ring position and hold. An alternative way to hold is to grab onto your foot, same arm as leg, and then pull up to the back. Get ready to do it together. Ready and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now catch your foot and hold. If you can, straighten the knee and hold for three, two, one. Nice job, other side. Ready and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now catch your foot and hold. Straighten the knee and hold for three, two, one. Last exercise, side inclination kicks and side inclination hold. When doing these side inclination exercises, make sure that you are opening your hips and not sticking out your butt. Now let's do it together. Start with 10 kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold on to your ankle or foot and lean to the side as far as you can with open hips. And relax. Now get ready for the other side. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold on to your ankle or foot and lean to the side as far as you can with open hips. This concludes today's lesson. See you next time.